Hello. Hi, Herb. Hi, Jesse. How are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. Thank you. Where Where are you? Are you? In I'm Tucson? I'm in Tucson, Arizona. How is it? Uh, warm. <laughs> is it 100 degrees? It's about 100. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Are you originally from Tucson? No, actually, I grew up in Chicago, but I've been in Arizona for about 35 years. So. Oh wow! 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 That's so cool. I, you, I'm I'm a desert rat now. <laughs> do you Do you cover the suns ever? Or you're all no, we're 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 down in Tucson, and that's in Phoenix. So I uh, I pretty much were a college basketball town. So Wildcats, I went to the U of A, oh. at two degrees there. So yeah. Oh, this is the Wildcats. Oh, so you're, is it Tucson like a college town? In it Phoenix is. As well it as is very much so. Else. Yeah, we'll have to have you come oh. visit sometime. <laughs> I would love it. Yeah, I yeah I spoke to Dan Marley because he was my idol growing up. About he said I can come to see a game that he coaches, which is um oh he maybe he got did he leave Grand Canyon. He, you know, I think he's still there. I think he's still okay. there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, we'll make an Arizona trip for you. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> well thank you so much. So, so thanks for, thanks for talking. I mean, um, I want to, I want to start by just saying, you know, I know that um, in addition to your role in the film, you uh, are an EP on the film. So what, what, how did you come to the project? Um, yeah, my, my, uh, Lyle, the, the director uh, um, and writer um, had, sent me this script um i i uh it was he thought that i would like the script and um you know i just i read it kind of um uh i, I was so intrigued by the premise and by um and so intrigued by um by who lyle is um that he's uh you know an indigenous filmmaker um telling this you know incredibly personal sympathetic but also quite dark story um about his culture. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, I read it and I just flipped for it. Um, it's kind of everything I really love about what media can do, can kind of shed light on stories of those who we don't often meet or stories of people who are kind of in, you know, um, you know, marginalized communities. Um, and when they're told, when those stories are told by the people from those communities, you know, you can tell some really amazing, you know, transgressive, interesting, dark, but, you know, maybe, but, but, but seemingly more honest stories. So I asked Lyle, um, I, I just love this so much. Is there anything I would love to be in it in a small role? And if I can help produce it and help raise the money, I would just be thrilled. I would love for nothing else than to see you be able to make this. And so, you know, it's, it's interesting, you know, the, the way that, um, the, the, Michael Makwa's character is presented, and and specifically in in the the, the modern day, not the, the younger mm -hmm. yeah, the younger man. Um, but it's interesting to me the way that your relationship with him in the work environment is really never fully. It's sort of this ambiguous kind of business, and I think yeah, that's yeah. interesting because you know was that a conscious choice? Do you think because then it didn't put it into a stereotypical? Oh, here's you know a native person that works at a casino or something like that. Yes, very interesting interesting question and interesting thing that you picked up on. And um, yeah, it's exactly kind of how we were talking about it, specifically in this, um, it, because of what you said, but also in this other way, which is that, um, you know, Lyle, the director and Michael, who played the main character, um, you know, said that, you know, Native, uh, uh, you know, Americans and Indigenous people are always used in kind of white movies as metaphors, as symbols of something, you know, as uh, you know, as a symbol of wisdom or as a symbol of history or something vague um, and impersonal. And so with this, um, where the protagonists are both indigenous characters, um, he was looking at kind of my character, um, you know, this kind of white guy who's seemingly, you know, happy and seemingly got his life together as the symbol of white culture, as the symbol of kind of, um, you know, Western, uh, uh, you know, ideal American culture. And so um, in a way, like my character was the symbol. And so the kind of ambiguity and the vagueness with which the character's jobs are rendered is in some ways trying to kind of express the kind of vague American idealism that uh, this character is aspiring to. Yeah, and I think you guys really hit that out of the park. Um, you know, um, I also, I, I, I wonder, have you, were you aware of, of Michael's work in the past? I mean, I, he's such a, he's such an incredible screen presence. And I mean, Woman Walks Behind was sort of a breakout role, but were you aware of his, of his work before? Yeah, I was aware of him and less so aware of the other wonderful actor, Chosky Spencer's just incredible in this movie. Um, and, um, uh, and so, um, 
Yeah, it was really cool. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, because of the nature of the movies that, you know, Michael's in, you know, I, he and I don't frequently get to work together, you know, like, um, I mean, you know, wouldn't ha normally have the opportunity to work together. So it was so great to see him in this very intense role. And also to kind of, um, if I'm being candid, it was interesting for me to see um, a protagonist that was just different from the normal protagonists that I'm on set seeing. That was a kind of real treat that I didn't realize I would have and a real education that I wasn't, uh, that I never had got before. So, you know, in your role as, as an EP, I don't know how much impact you had on, on, on casting and stuff, but I mean, I have to mention too, the, the younger, the younger guys, um, Phoenix and Julian, um, who played the young versions of, of the, of the guys, mm. they were just remarkable. And I mean, carrying such a gravitas at that age, that must've been sort of rewarding for you on the other side of the camera to see that, that success. Yeah, it's so hard to find, you know, child actors, let alone indigenous child actors, because there's not, you know, so many who go into, you know, the pra the profession of, you know, auditioning for things. Um, yeah, so it was kind of like luck. And then um, a lot of credit also goes to the wonderful script Lyle wrote. If there are people interested in screenwriting um, uh, who are listening to this, I so recommend uh, reading this script of Wild Indian because it was just one of the tightest scripts I've ever read. Just it was so, it was so fully realized in the on the page that you could get a sense of how great it would be. Are you are you thinking that there's possible future collaborations with with this with this team again? Oh, Lyle's been wonderful uh, to, to me. Um, I just made my first movie and Lyle was one of the first, you know, five people to see it and gave me some, you know, un just incredibly helpful notes. And Lyle, uh, I hope will be a collaborator of mine because I just so adore him. I went up to visit him uh, uh, on the reservation where he is up in, um, in Minnesota and uh, he's a friend and I hope a collaborator. I have such uh, admiration for him. So one other question I want to ask you. Um, so, you know, it's interesting on the surface, um, you know, it, it, it's sort of a dark film, but I feel like by the time it ends, it sort of ends uh, on, I mean, not, not that I'm trying to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't seen the film yet, but it sort of ends on a different note. I mean, I think it could have spiraled yeah. into despair very easily, and then that would have been yeah. easier to write it off. And, and that's, that's, a, that's a deft trick, I think. And I think that's the combination of the writing, the acting, the directing, everything combines. And how did, how did you, did you have a concern about that? How dark it was on paper? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I partly loved it for that reason because, you know, he's a real kind of anti-hero, you know, it's a character that you can see, you know, um, you know, you just, you just so infrequently see that uh, from a character that's not, you know, to be frank, not really white, you know, because, you um, uh, you know, so to see a protagonist who's, you know, an indigenous guy that's not, you know, just um, the kind of calm presence of wisdom is is really interesting. I mean, it's really interesting. And, um, it, you know, even though the character is so dark, it's really kind of a sign of progress to have a character that is so dark um, because it means we're kind of, we can watch that, accept that, and know that that's an isolated incident, you know, even though the guy is really representing, uh, you know, those who are trying to run away from their past. Um, you know, the character uh, is a guy who's kind of trying to run away from his past, but also trying to run away from his cultural past. He's trying to kind of like leave his culture. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just a really dark and I, I think kind of honest portrayal of, you know, what people are, you know, experiencing, you know, kind of identity crises find themselves doing. And so that kind of hopeful ending that you're alluding to, I think is nice. It's like kind of, you know, somebody going through a, an identity crisis um, needs that kind of catharsis. And as an audience, you kind of, you want that for them. Absolutely. So before I run out of time, tell me what, what's up for you. What, what's coming up next? What can we be looking forward to? Oh, well, thank you so much. Yeah, I just, um, yeah, I have like uh, 30 days left on post-production on this movie I directed for A24 films with uh, Julianne Moore and Finn Wolfhard, and it's called uh, When You Finish Saving the World, and um, yeah, I don't know, I, I it's a kind of a, it's just been a, a educational process every day because I didn't know uh, anything about <laughs> sound mixing, so um, <laughs> which is what we're doing all day every day now. So yeah, it's an interesting experience, and um uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, and, and I'm, I'm just super glad I was, I had a chance to see this film, you know, through a, a festival earlier this year. And I was so glad to see that it was finally, you know, going to be coming out because it's one of those things that you just, you really want to talk about, but if people haven't seen it, you can't talk about it. <laughs> so I'm really glad. Well, well that, that's really nice of you to say. Thank, thank you so much. 
and congratulations on it. And, and I look forward to, to, to everything else that you have. And, and yeah, let, let's find a way to have you come visit Arizona. I, I would love to. Thank you so much, Herb. All right. Have thanks for your time today. Afternoon. Okay. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Great. Now it's just us. Okay. I yes, will.